In this video, I'm going to show you how to hide a sheet tab. If you are trying to archive some past tabs or sheets in your workbook, this is a good thing to do. It hides them. This is actually one of the few things that I do recommend you do hide. I don't recommend you hide columns or rows. That can be very confusing. And it's very hard to see what rows and columns are hidden and what's in them. But there is a very cool way to see hidden sheets. So it's totally okay, at least in my book, to hide tabs or sheets. Just when you're on the sheet itself, or the tab you want to hide, go to the downward arrow next to the name, and you're gonna click hide sheet. Once it's hidden, it doesn't show up down here in the tabs, but it does show up in what's called the hamburger menu over here called all sheets. Once you hover over it, it shows you all sheets, but you just click there and you can see that it grayed out this 2023 sales. If we select it, we can actually unhide it. There is one other way to hide or unhide sheets, and that's through app script. We can go up to extensions, app script, and we can get a custom menu. This is just at bettersheets.co slash snippets, totally free and open for anyone to copy and paste some script. We'll replace this with a menu that says hide menu. And we're gonna create a item that says hide sheet. We're gonna name this hide sheet. And then we're gonna create a function hide sheet. The hiding of the sheet is going to use spreadsheet app dot get active, get active sheet. And then we're going to choose hide sheet. I'm gonna save this, close it. And what we need to do is refresh our sheet. And over here on the right next to the help menu, we'll be our hide menu. And here we can hide sheet. The first time we do this, we'll have to authorize. Once it's authorized, we can click again, hide sheet, and we can hide any sheet that we're active on. It is hidden here. We can unhide it by selecting the one we want to unhide. Let's go back to our app script and create an unhide application, an unhide function. So we're going to call this function hide sheet. The issue with this is we are, will need to unhide a very specific sheet. So we'll unhide sales. So we'll actually call this unhide sales 2023 unhide sales 2023 and we'll call this show sales 2023 and in our function we're going to write spreadsheet app get active spreadsheet get sheet by name our sheet name is 2023 sales and we're going to use activate activate will both unhide it and go to that sheet so again i'm going to save this and refresh our sheet so it loads a new menu so now in our hide menu we have hide sheet and show sales 2023 so if we use hide sheet on 2023 again it is in our hidden menu here are all sheets. We can go back to hide menu and show sales 2023 and it will both show it, unhide it, and actually activate it so we're on that page itself. It's very good if you have archived sheets and then you have to sometimes go and see those sheets but you don't want to go and search for them in this menu. Maybe you have multiple sheets, 12 sheets a year or even weekly sheets so you have 52 every year and you're looking for one. One thing about hiding sheets or hiding tabs is you cannot hide all of the sheets. So once you have one sheet only, the hide sheet function is not available. You can't even delete this tab if it's the only sheet being shown. 